How's it going? My name is Tele Varga, and uh, today we're going to be running through a step-by-step -step guide on how you should go about replacing uh, the slings on Three Birds Casual Riviera products. Although our Textoline fabric slings are incredibly strong and are built for years, it will likely begin to wear and tear before its teak frame will. Or maybe you even have a hole in it. But don't worry, there is no need to waste a perfectly good frame. We've worked hard to build our Riviera line with longevity in mind in order to make sure that nothing was wasted and you are getting incredible value in a long-lasting product. I will be walking you through replacing slings for both Riviera stacking and folding chairs as well as Riviera loungers. The first thing you are going to want to do is lay down a blanket to make sure that the frame and the sling are both safe from any sort of scratching. We're going to be walking through the sling assembly of the Riviera stacking and folding chair first. The assembly is virtually the same on these two so we will be using a stacking chair to demonstrate. For the stacking chair specifically, you will want to have two different lengths of bolt that you will need. The only tool that you will need today is a 532nd Allen wrench, although we would highly recommend obtaining an H4 ratchet which will dramatically quicken the process. The folding chair will only need the shorter bolt shown here. Place the stacking chair seat onto the frame and ensure the sling is seated soundly. It will help to flip the chair upside down to better access the threaded holes. The longer bolts are going to be used specifically for the Riviera stacking chair seat, with the bolts going all the way through the seat frame and threading into the sling itself. We recommend that you ensure each screw has been placed and bitten into the threading before you begin to tighten them. It is extremely important that all the holes align perfectly before the screws are tightened completely. Begin working your way around to each bolt, giving it 5 to 10 turns before moving to the next one to ensure that the sling is evenly attached. Once everything is nice and tightened up, you may now move on to attaching the back sling. The back of the sling is extremely similar to that of the folding chair seat and back, so the exact same method applies to the folding chair as well. Notice that one edge of the sling features a curve. This will help you identify the top of the sling. Place the sling inside the frame and again make sure all of the holes align perfectly. Begin screwing in the bolts with your fingers just to get them started and ensure that each bolt has bitten into the thread before tightening. Unfortunately, due to the nature of the crossbars, it may be difficult to tighten bolts with a ratchet where there is a crossbar present, so you will need to resort to the Allen wrench. Again, giving each bolt 5 to 10 turns at a time, work your way around the sling to make sure every bolt is evenly attached. Once everything is nice and tight, you're all done. Now we are going to walk through the assembly of a set of Riviera lounger slings. Turn the lounger face down to better allow access to the bolts and slide the slings into place by lifting the lounger. The lounger can be a bit trickier to align perfectly. First, we're going to focus on the back sling, which is the shorter one. Just like with the stacking and folding chair, begin to place the short bolts inside of the holes and ensure each bolt has bitten into the threading before beginning to tighten. Each bolt should be sticking out somewhat, as you can see here, before you begin to tighten them. You will save large amounts of time by making sure that each bolt is tightened equally. Simply give it 5 to 10 turns and then move on to the next one and keep working your way around until each bolt is nice and tight. Lastly, we will be attaching the seat sling to the lounger. Due to the large number of bolts needed in replacing the seat, a ratchet will make a big difference in the pace of this portion. Again, hand tighten all the bolts to ensure each one has nicely bitten into the thread. Because of the length of the seat sling, it is imperative that all holes line up perfectly. Do not tighten any of the bolts until everything is properly lined up. By tightening the bolts on one side, you risk pulling the sling frame away from the lounger frame, making everything disconjointed. You need to make sure that you gradually tighten the bolts and everything stays nice and cohesively together. After everything is tightened up, the lounger is ready for use. 